write English review for weeks one and two of semester three. Yes. Okay, students, what do you see here? Oh, a train. A train, okay. Why do you think we have a train here? What are we going to talk about? Okay. Okay, so what's who's Mighty Kate? And please raise your hands, okay? Yes, Muhammad. Mighty Kate is a strong girl that can hold a train. Hold what? Hold a train. Wow, she must be really amazing. Yes, what would you like to say, Hassan? Mighty Kate is a girl and she has superpowers. And she can uh, hold uh, something heavy like trains, uh, horses, horses, boulders. boulders. Very good. Okay. So, what type of genre would Ma how Mighty Kate stop the train? Be? Tall tale. Tall tale. Okay. What other stories or what other uh, visuals did you see that are also tall tales? Yes. Yes, Muhammad Ali. Okay. 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 So, what did Pippi Longstocking do in the movie that you saw? Uh, she was a she was a girl that uh, has dreams about her dad and that doesn't know her dad and mom and. She, she thinks that they are pirates and things, and she lives alone in a house. And one day, a police came to get her. That way, she can live with someone. But uh, they couldn't catch her, so they started running. But she uh, molded the carriage when they were. She held the carriage that the uh, horses pull. Yes, and uh, they couldn't go then. Then a man, went, the policeman went out of the carriage to see what's happening. And then and the uh, lobs got on top of holding the horse, that way you could see her. So in the picture here, you see her holding a horse. Yes, yes. Does that happen in real life? No. no. So what is a tall tale? A, a tall tale that happens. They have real characters, but it cannot happen in real life. Okay, there are characters that are realistic, but they are um, unbelievable. Yeah. And what what kind of uh, what word did you learn that's uh, stretching the truth? What word? Exaggeration. Exaggeration. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Now we also talked about what. Okay, and uh, do we see things as a bird would see? No. Why? Where's the bird? Up high in the sky. So he sees it from. Up high. Up high, and we see things from Double. our own uh, perspective. Okay, so what kind of things help you to find point of view? Uh, uh, now, uh, pronouns. How the author wrote it. How the author wrote it, and the pronoun is she, she, he, it, or she, uh, he, it, or she, or her, or he. Okay. Okay, Jad. Very good. He write, uh, I, I was like this. He, the, that was the first person point of view. And, and you? And you is the second point of view. First point of view. Very good. And then she or he or they. they. Okay, very good. Now, I just want to let you know something. I want you to look at the illustration. Yeah. All of you are looking at the illustration on the board. Yeah, yeah. It's as the father sees him throwing his baby up as the child sees and as the mother sees. Do you see the different perspectives here? Yes. What does the mother see? Yes, and the child? Okay, and the father? Why? Why do you think this? He can't see exactly exactly how he threw him. So it's uh, because when he throws him, he sees his face and his body like close. So he thinks that he's close. That's so. Uh, but the baby called. because he's small. But the baby because he is. Yes, you're right. And you're right. She is uh, very. Uh, no. Yes, you're right, Haider. You're very right. Oh, no, maybe as Haider said, and I, I liked Kamen and Haider's answers because they were saying that the mother 
would be afraid, so she thinks it's far, overprotective, and the child is small, so he feels it's higher. But the father is throwing at a small amount, uh, a small length, in his own opinion also. So each one is a different opinion or perspective or point of view. Very good. Okay. These are your spelling words for this week. Would anyone, can I just start with uh, Haidar and go ahead, tell me one. Okay. Hamad? Sandal. Malak? Marvel? Fable? Woolen? Lengthen? Signal? Barrel. Barrel. Chuckle. Chuckle. Continue. Uh, uh, Captain. Global. Global. Very good. Particle. Practical. Uh, <laughs> Practical. You were we were spelling it as particle also, so be careful, okay? Uh, Practical. Angle. Heron. Heron. Okay. Sharif. Uh, mountain. Mountain. Bushel, very good. Pretzel and nozzle. Okay, let's see if you can do this activity. Okay, let's read the words in each row and we're going to circle the words that have the final L sound you hear and signal. The first one has been done for you, so we're looking for L like in simple, ankle. And practical, you all hear oh uh? yes. type number two. Can you read? Go ahead and read the whole row, uh, Sharif. Uh, simple story, angle, practical, false, pretzel, angle, barrel. Okay, let's stop. So, number two, that row, which words should we circle? Uh, pretzel, pretzel, angle, angle, and barrel. barrel. Yes. Do you all agree? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now, can someone uh, do number three? Yes, yes Malak? Uh, label. Pasted. Which ones should you circle? Label and able. Very good. Able and label and nickel. Very good. Okay, next one. Hassan? Boston, Marvel, Global, Ticket. Trickle. Go ahead and circle the ones that have the last L sound. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Jamil. Sandal, puzzle, fable, bucket. Okay. Sandal. Go ahead, circle it. Puzzle. Puzzle. Fable. Very good. Okay, next one. It says to. What does it say to do, Kamen? Uh, uh, read the words in each row. Circle the words that have the final N. N a sound you, you hear. You hear in slogan the first That's one true. has been done for you. Okay, go ahead and read. It's a, a seven woolen nickel token. Okay, would you like to do number seven? Yes. A soft and feeble re reason. reason. Listen. A soften. Soften. Correct. Reason. Reason. Listen. Excellent. Okay. Who would like to do the next one? Heather. Go ahead and read. Uh, you. Uh, Urban. Urban. Soften. Captain. Uh, Chisel. Chisel. Go ahead and circle the ones that make N at the end. Correct. Very good. Okay. Now, who would like to do the next one, Hamad? Uh, uh, movie. Uh, letters. Flatten. Uh, Flatten. Mitten. Napkin. Napkin. Okay. Go ahead and uh, circle. Uh, 
flatten flatten good mitten mitten and napkin very good okay who has not done one Muhammad Ali um, ten, number 10 frighten satin barrel and mountain okay very good go ahead and circle um, frighten very good and satin and mountain okay excellent good. thank you all okay let's look at the vocabulary words i'm gonna just uh have you uh, talk a little bit about them and we're going to just make a line to the picture that you think might describe the word so what's the first one deeds so what picture would give you an idea about deeds one good deed one good deed and what does deed mean Actions, okay. Can you go ahead and make a line to one good deed from deeds? Okay. Thank you. Okay, the next one. Exaggeration. exaggeration. Okay, which one is an exaggeration? Where the people are sitting in the table. Uh, 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 this one. Which one? This one. Uh, the this one. one, the 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 this yeah. one? No. Yes. Yeah, this one. Or this one. This, yeah, this one. Now, I see a picture of a, a boy, um, like, standing pretty much on his hand. So, do you think it's an exaggeration? Or is this man who's talking yeah, about the fish, you can see one is looking at a small fish, and he has his hands open wide. Do you think that's an exaggeration? Yeah, yes, yes, because he's saying about the big, yes, about fish. The big fish. And it isn't a business. Okay, great. So let's make a line from exaggeration to the picture of the exaggeration. The guy is speaking. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Commenced. Commenced. means to start a Okay. Which one is it? Go ahead and make a line. All right, Grace. Okay, yes, Muhammad. Uh, uh, Impress. Uh, uh, what does it mean to impress? I have a strong feeling about something. Very good. So if you're trying to impress someone, what are you doing? You're, yeah. uh, you're standing on one hand. For example, <laughs> you stand on one hand to impress someone. What about a dance? Would you dance or sing for someone? To impress them? What about doing a project for your teacher? Yeah, yeah. Would that impress her? Okay. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. High marks. High marks would impress everyone. So we make a line from here to the from impress to the uh, boy standing hand. on the line. Hand. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Sauntered. Can you talk about sauntered, Malak? What does it mean to saunter? Okay, to walk or to stroll. And we can... Uh, who's walking or strolling here? The lady with her dog. Miss also, 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 also the girl. Yes, uh, Majd? Ring. Ring. What is ringing? Can you show me with your hands? What do you do? How do you ring something? Like this, we squeeze our twist. Can you show me a picture of that? Connect the pictures to the words. All right. All right. Amazing. Okay. And the last one. Yes, heroic. Heroic. Yes. Uh, yes, to be uh, brave. To be brave or courageous. Excellent. Like Captain America, right? And Superman. And Spider-Man. Okay. Okay. Can someone read the directions here? Go ahead, Jad. Read each sentence, change any repeated word or words into the correct pronoun, and rewrite the sentence on the line provided. Okay, so read the first one, number one. Yeah. Go ahead, Muhammad Ali. The animals can't find food, and the animals are becoming very hungry. So how can we change this? Uh, uh, the animals can't find food, and... They are Okay, because so we say the animals, the animals, they, they. And they So it's the same 
sentence at home in your weekly review sheet you will have something like this you have to write the sentence okay so here just to save some time we're not going to write the whole sentence okay the next one number two who would like to do it go ahead Haidar very very dry so what should we do uh, has uh, read, uh, it, uh, very, very good. So we change the peri to it. Is it difficult? No. no. Do you know how to yes. do this? Yes. Okay. Clouds from every day, but no rain falls from the clouds. Falls from it. From it. From it? Do you think that uh, it's correct to say from it? Yes. Clouds. No. It's plural. From them. From them. Very good. Be careful with these, okay? Yes, Jameel? Uh, Mr. Dibble. Mrs. Mrs. Dibble. 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 A local ecologist. A ecologist says that Mrs. Dibble is connected. Concerned. Concerned. A sheep. Mrs. Dibble, local uh, ecologist. ecologist says that she 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 is con very good she okay the last one sharif she came to our class today and told our class about the problem okay this says uh, uh, in a class and, and told that she came to our class today and told us very good us excellent sharif 